Hello, you wonderful people. So, wherever you're at in life right now, could you help me with Instagram? So, I realized that as a litmus test for how well I can learn a technology, a new technology for me anyway, uh, Instagram is a great indicator for how I will be left behind in the technological revolution that is to happen in the 21st century. I have no idea how Instagram works. I admit it. I admit it. I'm sorry. I don't I don't get it. I, I get a notification when, say, my sister-in-law is posting a video. And I'm like, great. I'll, I'll go check it out. I'll like it. And then it takes up the whole screen. And all I can do is like bypass it, you know, like tap through it or swipe or whatever. Apparently, that's her story. Great. Got it. So I'll go to her page. I'll, I'll like it there. But you can't really notice. It's not in her posts. It's not listed. So her story is different from her posts? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Part of me is a little worried about that. <laughs> I, I should probably learn how these technologies work. I should probably learn how to manipulate them and use them and post on them and interact with them. And when someone follows me... Um, you know, like go to their page and leave a comment on their on their wall. No, so that's like a Facebook thing, right? So clearly, I've got some learning to do if I want to be a social media mogul, someone who's versed in these things. If there, if I were to ever apply to a job that's like must have experience with these things, I would qualify under the amateur category of uh, experience with these things. So maybe I should get on that. Ah, I feel bad because at first, I start Instagram, right? I make some posts, like, ooh, look at all these filters, I'm so cool. This person has liked your post. Nice. This person started following you. What's the etiquette there? Do I have to follow them back? Like, is that just nice? Do I do that? I started doing that, and then recently I went through and I was like, I don't really know this person. They have no posts. They're just some random affiliation of letters cuz it's it's like a phrase or a code name of some kind that you just you make up and that's cool maybe it's a business name but i don't know this person i'm not connected to them in any way i'm i i'm going to unfollow them cuz i don't necessarily want to see their posts they don't like at the moment they aren't bringing any value to my life i just followed them cuz they started following me and then some people unfollowed me and now i'm i'm like wait 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 Am I that guy that like followed, gotta follow, and then unfollowed? Like, LOL, haha, <laughs> you'll be my follower and I won't be yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't, that wasn't my intention. I'm just dumb <laughs> when it comes to Instagram. I'm trying to learn this thing. <laughs> so uh, I've got to go about that differently. Like if someone starts to follow me and I want to interact with them, maybe go comment on one of their posts. Maybe send them a message. Hey, thanks, brah, for the follow. But then you run into that thing where people send you DMs. Why is it DMs, by the way? Direct messages. Why isn't it PMs, private messages? When did that change? Okay. Is that like a certain medium uses PMs and then this one uses DMs? Are they all DMs now? Okay. Um, but they'll, they'll send you on Instagram. They'll send you these DMs and they're copy pasted. They're the, they're the same format with just different filled in information. Like, Hey, thanks for the follow. Check out my friend. They produce great content. You're a rock star. Whatever it is, right? I I appreciate the positivity. I appreciate that maybe this was a business model that they're trying to grow and whatnot. Cool. But you realize I've gotten maybe... I've, I've received maybe 20 of these per day. <laughs> it's, I appreciate the reach out. Thanks. If I need your services, I'll come to you. But this... What value am I getting from a copy-pasted message? I, does that make sense? I'm not trying to be ungrateful. I, I I hope your business takes off. Good for you. But how are you supposed to respond to those things? I just double tap the like. Like, hey, I got that. Thanks, thanks for reaching out. Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> I have no idea. So for anyone that I followed and then unfollowed, sorry, friend. Uh, a peaceful invitation. Let's, let's uh, collaborate on something if you... You want to make stuff. I have no idea. But uh, good luck to you.
So yeah, it's a sign that I'm getting older. I'm still young. I'm going to turn 30 this year. I'm, I'm young. But I, I feel like my parents. <laughs> when, when I was a toddler, when I was a little kid and I'm teaching them how to like use a remote, that's me now without a toddler. I'm, I'm holding the remote. I'm holding Instagram. Uh, buttons? Make a post? And why aren't my posts in my story? Do, uh, does the story expire after a time? Kind of like, like Snapchat did? Uh, things I could Google. But I'd rather make a video about it because I think it's hilarious. I, I love technology. I'm the opposite of a Luddite. I, I, technology, awesome. 100%. Uh, I think we should be careful about some technologies, but that is, uh, regardless of my point, I really like tech. Okay? And so then I get on Instagram and I feel like my parents, I'm like, oh, this is bad. I could put time into it, learn this stuff a little better, but it's also just kind of funny. <laughs> I can make posts. I can reply to people's comments. I can like stuff. I think that's good enough. I'm going to keep putting out content. I love any, interac any interaction I get there. But yeah, I just don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> Thank you for your time watching this. Any help is greatly appreciated. I, uh, I want to know. I mean, am I, am I being left behind? Is society moving on as I age into oblivion and I'll never be able to figure out the remote control to the Instagram television ever again. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if I may.